Welcome back to Let's Play Quake 2, Ground Zero. I'm Burning Dog Face. Stepchild is here in an ammo depot. And that was really satisfying. Nope! You don't get to do that. Man, this thing is inaccurate. I forgot how, how quite how quickly it uses up ammo. Teleporter booth. Either that, or it's the uh, the agony booth in the mirror universe. Yeah, it's possible that reference is a bit too obscure. Uh. The original Star Trek, uh, Mirror Mirror, the episode where Kirk and uh, a few crewmen accidentally get transferred to an alternate universe where the Federation is replaced with uh, the Terran Empire, and everybody is an asshole. So that's basically the best way to sum it up. It's uh, everyone has a counterpart over there, and they're all aggressive, murderous dicks. That's the, the one where Spock famously has a beard that uh, led to the weird sort of science fiction shorthand that an evil twin can be noticed by having a goatee. Nope! I'm not picking up what you're putting down. Huh. Uh, anyway, there was a... Uh, one of the demonstrations of everyone is an asshole was the, uh, reveal that the, uh, the Terran Empire r routinely uses a device called the Agony Booth to, uh, <laughs> discipline uh, unruly crew members. And it's literally an energy field inside a box that, uh, activates all of your pain receptors at the same time. And it, like, cycles its frequency so that your body is incapable of getting used to the pain and becoming numb. Strog bio-maintenance chamber activated. Security locks disabled, find antimatter pod. Secondary objective, proceed with caution. Oh, good. Oh, now this is happening. Oh, I did that. For a second there, I saw this and I was I had I was thinking, oh, is this like the uh, the, the the fucking gray fox hallway from Metal Gear Solid One, where you go in and it's just full of dead soldiers that you didn't take out. Strong uniform obtained. Proceed freely. Hold your fire. Wow. Strong uniform obtained. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, uh, uh, I'm disguised as one of those guys. 
Yeah. Gentlemen, or sir. Don't mind me. Walk with a swagger. This is weird. That would be really funny is if there was a like a gunner standing in the corner and did share the elevator. What floor are you going to? I'm not going to lie, this is really unnerving. Bio something chamber. Does that mean I'm a cyborg now? Because I kind of don't want to be a cyborg. Not in this case. I mean, cyborgs are awesome, but, uh. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not one of them, but. At least the guard guys got to keep their, you know, uh, their bits intact. Unless he's got a great big metal donger on there. I'm gonna take my fingers away from the. Uh... Sorry, just putting on a, uh, like a chapstick. It's really cold here lately, and my lips are getting really chapped. Oh fuck, I didn't even notice that guy. No! Oh, I touched him. I touched him! I'm sure that would, you know, ruin the, uh, illusion. Oh, and of course he... He can't ask for directions because they're all cyborgs. They know where to go. Seriously, where the fuck am I going? It's gotta be here, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's try that door. Is that the one I tried earlier? Yeah. So then let's try this elevator. If only I had a button to endlessly cock my gun the way they do. Munition plant, ammo depot. That's not what it says. Oh, it, it does say that. It's just, I'm missing a T. Okay, then. Even the rocket turret doesn't give a shit. So this is a secret, is the thing. It said you, you found a secret place when I got into the tube. Which suggests to me that, uh... I'm gonna go for it. You know what, I'm not gonna push the button. Yes, I am. Bridge activated. Oh. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Huh. Lol. Yeah, you know, the the standard way of going through this level would be killing all these guys, but 
Uh, continue to the munitions plant. That was over here. I wonder how many uh, turrets I haven't noticed because they're placed in subtle locations. Okay, I don't know what that accomplished. Oh, fuck me. Speak of the devil. I think there was a rocket turrets, too. Seriously, what was the point of this? Oh well. I am definitely not going to shoot it to find out what happens. Actually, you know what? I can just load it at any time, so I might as well. It explodes. Okay. Oh, hey, I moved it and it's not broken, so if that's part of some stupid Easter egg or, uh, oh, hidden place, it's in the position for it. No. What game was it where you couldn't touch anybody? Uh, in the saboteur, they'd know it was a disguise if you got within too close of them. Uh, in Hitman, people with the same job as you will know you're uh, in disguise. So if you disguise yourself as a guard at a hotel, the hotel guests won't know. But, uh... The other guards will. Where the... Fuck, I'm like, no, oh, munitions plant. And I guess it's not going to work. After this, the, uh, the costume, I mean. Well, that was really interesting. Activate antimatter core creator. Find security pass for ammo depot. Humanoid life form detected. Security force fields activated. Oh my god, does that mean... When I get back to the other level... Will I have to kill all those guys? It's a strangely obvious place to put that. Adrenaline... Fuck. I didn't think that would happen, but... Okay, that works. The thing with the blaster is it isn't quite one-to-one -one where it's aiming. That would be more accurate if it was centered on the screen, but you can't see when it's in your hand in the center, so fuck that. Oh, God! Okay, that's not a good place to take cover. Ah, 
and we're running. This would be a great time to still have that adrenaline there. Get out of the damn way. Not a bad call. Oops. I mean, I, in the last second I thought, wait, I shouldn't pick that up. I've got almost full ammo. Really? I took 20 damage from that? Oh, Dick! Last save was when I was entering the area. Okay, this time I'm gonna leave the adrenaline there, because it'll bring me to full. Nice break dancing. Fire in the hole. You're shitting me. Now you're dead. How the fuck am I gonna take that big guy out? Let's try this thing. I can't help but notice that uh, adrenaline doesn't actually have any medicinal properties. I'm only imagining that I'm now in perfect health. You know, I'm reminded of, uh... Specifically, I'm reminded of World of Warcraft, actually, of all things. Because, uh... In World of Warcraft, when your character gets really drunk, you start to see the, uh... the levels of enemies decrease. You know, so a, a level 20 enemy will only look level 17 or level 15 or something, depending on how drunk you are. At least it used to be like this. I haven't played it since 2007, I'll give you that, but, uh... This is a funny little detail that I'm not sure they would think to change. Oh. 
Anyway, the uh, reason I bring it up is that the best part about that is that it doesn't actually, you know, change the levels of anything. You know, it's not like this is some secret way to make the monsters spawn with lower levels around you. It's, uh, a joke. You, uh, it only looks like they're, uh, at lower levels to you. Because you're hammered. Panic there. And I had better weapons for that situation, but you know! Couldn't even see that one. Thank you, lighting effects, Jesus. Have that guy from going around the corner. Fuck you! You know, there's a stereotype that when you get drunk, uh, you pick fights with people. So, uh. The joke is that when your character in WoW is drunk, uh. Enemies look weaker, so you think you can take them. Okay, that's done. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you in the next episode. There we go. Of Let's Play Quake 2, Ground Zero. We to keep pushing through the ammo depot and try to make our way all the way to the end. Later!